for the um, the post lab. The post lab part, like the write up, is on Canvas. I just printed this out for you for convenience. You don't have to have it, but you can write right on here on a separate sheet of paper. So make sure again you have your data out from Tuesday. All right. So calculate the volume of sodium hydroxide used to reach the equivalent point. Did everyone do one trial, or did anyone do two? Did anyone do two? Oh, everyone did two. Sorry, the other way around. Okay, so um, it says at the very top to, you'll do this for each trial, but you only have to show the actual steps of the solution for one trial, remember? So um, you'll give me two answers, one for each trial, but you'll only show me the steps for one of them. So number one, you want to calculate delta V. What is your delta V equal for sodium hydroxide? Okay, who has one of their trials done? Casey, do you? Can you give it me your first one? Sanchi or Casey, you guys are the same numbers, right? Uh, it's 25.80? Yes. 25.80? Uh, yes. Okay. 25.80. Okay. Everyone else, are you in the 20s region? Okay, so that seems reasonable. Okay, I'm moving on, even if you haven't done the second one, I'm moving on to number two. So use the calculated volume of sodium hydroxide from number one and the molarity given on the bottle that you wrote down to determine the moles of sodium hydroxide used to reach the endpoint. Okay, this, since you're gonna be using molarity and volume, this does need to be converted into meters. So for Casey and Santi, it would be 0 0.02580 liters. And then what was the molarity on the bottle? 0 0.04. Okay. 0.04 moles per liter. Don't round yet. So you're going to use all these numbers until the very end.
to determine moles of HT minus and K plus. So your answer from here and your balanced reaction. So let's look at the first one. To determine the moles of HT minus and K plus. So if two sets, right? One for each trial. All right, so number five. Calculate molarity of H2 minus and potassium in your trial, so both of them, by using your answer from number four, so this answer, and volume of KHT from your data table. So that was, that's why you had your second burette with the KHT in it, or potassium hydrogen tartrate. So you want to take your moles, let's say, for example, of potassium, and divide it by the volume of KHT, and this will be, let's say, trial one. That will give you molarity of K plus. But you'll do it for all the ions for each trial. Any other questions for number five? Hopefully you've got at least one ion done. It's okay if you don't have both trials. All right, we're halfway through, woohoo. Okay, number six, write the dissolution reaction for KHT. So you can go back to your notes if that's a little confusing, but it's a very simple reaction. All right, so number six, it has KHT as a solid, and it dissolves into what two ions? Yeah, potassium and then hydrogen tartrate. KHT minus. So that's it. All right, number seven. Write the KSP expression based on that dissolution. So write the K, write the equilibrium constant for that. Talk to each other about that. 
Okay, what does X represent? Your, yes, molar solubility. All right, last but not least, number 10. So convert your molar solubility, which you just represented by X, for KHT into grams per 100 milliliters. So you're taking your solubility and you're converting it into grams per 100 milliliters. So this one actually requires more thought than anything we've done so far. <laughs> so look back at your ice table. Look at the values that you've already solved for in the previous problem. See where those plug into your ice table. You're gonna take that your molar solubility, which is moles per liter, and you want to convert that into grams per 100 milliliters. I'll walk around. You will need to use a periodic table. I'm sorry? Yeah, put one number, or just put a line under the first one. seen the review questions online? Which questions? Oh, the review ones? That you're going to go over right yeah. now. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. it's just like that. 